This is Turning Point, profiles of Fairleigh Dickinson University alumni. In this episode, we feature Seth Greenberg, who spent more than 30 years as a top college basketball coach in the NCAA. Seth considers himself a mentor, an educator, and a coach. He is now a college basketball analyst at games and in the studio for ESPN. I was a broadcast journalism or communications major at Fairleigh Dickinson. And, you know, uh, people say, you know, you're a communications, but why aren't you a PE major? Well, you know, to me, first and foremost, coaching is selling, coaching is communicating, coaching is sending a message, having, get, getting feedback, and then, you know, going from there. I mean, and again, as we all know, you know, it's a sender or it's a receiver and it's feedback. I mean, that's the one thing I remember more than anything else from all the classes that I, that I was fortunate to, to, to take. So, you know, to me, uh, each and every day as a coach, your ability to communicate is, is, is paramount. But, you know, with that background, I've been able to use that. I, I did a number of things over the last eight or nine years for CBS Sports during the NCAA tournament, analyzing uh, the tournament, analyzing games, uh, being in the studio, following pressers to break down, you know, the coach speak of the press conference into layman's terms, uh, giving, a, a, again, a, another set of eyes and ears to what is going on. The, my turning point in terms of where I am today really came when, when I decided to come to Fairleigh Dickinson University. See, I came to Fairleigh Dickinson University obviously to play basketball and get an education, but I, my education besides my communications education came from the playing court. And I chose Fairleigh Dickinson quite honestly because of my coach, Alababo. Alababo was a trendsetter when it comes to teaching and coaching basketball. He was, a, he was a master coach, he was a master teacher. I always knew I wanted a coach, and if I was gonna attend a school, I wanted to make sure that my classroom was the coach I was gonna be playing for. I mean, here's the guy that taught Bobby Knight man-to-man -man defense. Here's a guy that won numerous state championships. He was a terrific coach, a great motivator, and an unbelievable teacher. And to me, you know, as a coach, first and foremost, you've got to be a great teacher. So, you know, the turning point in my career was a decision to attend Fairleigh Dickinson, not just for the education, but for the education that I was going to receive each and every day at 2 o'clock when I was walking into Professor Lababo's lecture hall which was the practice court. All coaches, if you're in, invested in the game, if you're emotionally attached to your players, if you're committed and, and passionate about what you're doing, whether you're coaching, whether you're an attorney, whether you're a doctor, no, whatever profession that you, you choose, all right, you, know, you want to be committed. You want to put your arms around that profession. Uh, you want to be passionate about that profession. You know, I've had my out-of-body experiences. There's no doubt about it. That's just part of it. When you're coaching during the course of a game, when you're teaching in practice, you, you want to be passionate. You want to be committed. You want to make sure those players know that you're invested with them. So, you know, I, I would say that I'm, I'm extremely passionate in, in the manner in which I coached. I'm going to be passionate in the manner in which, you know, I bring... Uh, my opinions to the viewing audience. Uh, you know, again, to me, coaching is getting a player where he can't get himself, uh, getting a team to achieve at a higher level, maybe than people you know perceive that they were able to achieve. It starts in the recruiting process. Uh, I think there's you know two things that, that have been very very important to me when I when I recruit a prospect, and you know I ask two questions real simply, and uh, and the first question I ask is how important is graduation to you. And I asked that question to the prospect in front of his parents. And the reason I asked that question is, you know, I want to make sure, I want to hear it from them, that that's their ultimate goal. And then once I get that answer, 99.999% of those student athletes say, oh, coach, I'll tell you one thing, you know, I want to graduate. So, well, then let's look through a tunnel. And if you're looking backwards through that tunnel, all right, did you sleep in or did you get to class? Did you embrace your tutors? Did you go to study hall? Were you committed? Before you put your name on a piece of paper, did you make sure it's a reflection of you? And, you know, again, I think it starts as you develop these relationships with these prospects. You've got to understand, all right, if it's a priority to me as a head coach, it's going to be a priority to them. You know, I've been extremely fortunate. You know, I mean, uh, you know, this is a very difficult profession that I've chosen to be in. and, I, and you know, I've had a lot of people help me along the way, you know, whether it was getting involved with the five-star basketball camp as a youth, which gave me exposure to all these great coaches, which, you know, enabled me to earn a scholarship 
to Fairleigh Dickens, which enabled me to play for Alabama, which enabled me to get an opportunity to coach at you know Fordham and Columbia and uh, and and move up the coaching tree. Uh, and, and I think the biggest thing is that you know I've been I have a lot of friends that haven't had those same opportunities.